Sig from FXIV and things. And this is how to MMORPG. Um, it's just a series basically to give you some information if you're just looking into getting into MMORPGs or if you have some friends who invited you to, or even if you're in an MMOR MMORPG, just started out, um, you want a little bit more information and what goes into it. Um, this is this is what the series this is what the series is for. Just giving you a little more information. Um, last episode we talked about rotations um, and what a rotation is um, and reading you know reading the tool tips and things like that. Um, in this episode we're going to talk about group activities, main but mostly uh, instances and dungeons. Um, mostly dungeons. Um, uh, what a dungeon is is it's it's basically a, a instance, um, or rather, what an instance is is basically it's a uh, is a segment of the game that's uh, sec that's sectioned off for a particular number of players. Um, so other players um, in the game world can't interact with it or get to it. Um, it's just basically uh, for the players who are in, who are in it. So it's just kind of like your own little uh, own little dungeon, own little world, um, your own little world. Um, and usually, um, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is, uh, in MMORPGs, you're definitely gonna be playing with other people, um, and in instances and dungeons, um, you're usually gonna be grouped up. There may be some single player instances in some games, but, uh, generally and traditionally in MMOs, you're gonna be playing, it's usually group instances and group activities. Um, uh, and a dungeon is basically just, just like I said, it's just, a, it's a guided, kind of like a, like a stage. Um, or a guided experience um, where you're going to run through uh, a specific map and uh, defeat so many monsters or, or a specific uh, portion um, and defeat specific monsters um, and then you know defeat bosses and things like that. Um, dungeons are going to typically give really good loot um, so you'll get better experience, you'll get uh, better equipment amount of dungeons than you will out in the uh, game world that you can buy from vendors, like loot you can buy from vendors or get from quests. Usually the stuff in dungeons is going to be a lot better. Um, and then also you're usually going to get a lot more experience out of dungeons. So that's why, why you do dungeons. Um, they're a lot of fun, um, for sure. And they give a lot of experience. Um, so it helps with leveling. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, so you'll get a lot of experience, um, but they're definitely an integral part of MMORPGs, um, and that's that's a lot of the reason why a lot of people play is is for the dungeons and the instances and um, the different fights and things like that uh, that are available. Um, uh, leveling is super fun, but dungeons are super more fun. It, it's a lot about teamwork and um, and um, trusting other players and knowing what you're doing and getting in there and really uh, getting down and dirty and really t testing out your uh, your character and uh, your build um, and your knowledge you know and uh, and your equipment and things like that um, so it's definitely they're, they're definitely um, um, and so for dungeons you're going to be queuing up for generally most MMORPGs now have some sort of queue system. Um, I remember I played uh, World of Warcraft uh, just after um, Burning Crusades had come out, and they don't think they had a queue system at the time. Um, the way that it worked was you would run up to the dungeon and you would get uh, there outside the dungeon. There was something called a summoning stone, and you would uh, you would you know, activate the summoning stone, and um, all you you know, and you could summon your buddies. <coughs> over to, uh, you would have to actually link up with, you know, people in the area or people that you knew who wanted to do the dungeon and you all would form a party and then you could summon them to the dungeon and then go into the dungeon. Um, but in MMORPGs nowadays, it's it's mainly going to be some sort of queue system. Um, so just like queuing into a map of Call of Duty or anything like that. Um, in Final Fantasy XIV, they have what's called the Duty Finder. Um, in other games, it's going to be called something different, but generally, they're going to guide you through that. Um, it may be called, uh, you know, dungeons. It may just be called dungeons. Um, and you'll go to dungeons, and you'll pick your dungeon. Um, 
but in Final Fantasy XIV we have what's called a, a duty uh, duty finder, and what this does is it allows us to um, queue up um, for any for any dungeon or any really group any group activity that we have available that we have done so far. Um, so you see here that we have the duty roulette leveling, which is going to really what it does is it combines all the dungeons that we have <coughs> available to ourselves to us at the at the time, and then it's going to. Uh, pick a random one based off of who's available and who's looking for the same thing, and it's gonna throw us all together. Um, and we'll just it will just end up with random people. Um, and you see here we have guild heists, which is something that's specific to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, what they are are very small instances. They're not really like a dungeon. It's almost like a segment of a dungeon. And it's good for leveling and things like that, and it helps you. Uh, they're also there to guide you through different uh, mechanics that may be in the game that you may run into in dungeons later on. So it's kind of like a, an intro into uh, different parts of, of the game. Um, um, and then uh, we have dungeons here. Um, which these are all the dungeons that we uh, have done so far that we have available to us so we can queue up for any of these um, and then here's all our guild heists the list of all the guild heists that we have available um, and then we have trials which are the primal fights or the summon fights um, and you see here that we have one called bola embers and that's the one where we fight ifrit um, so for the first time we fight ifrit um, and then we do have they do have pvp um, on the same list. Sometimes in MMOs they may not be on the same list. Sometimes they may. Here they, well, here they definitely, uh, here they are. Um, any uh, match of PvP if we want to. Um, and so, and generally all you're going to have to do is select what you want. Um, you may be able to select multiples. You may only be able to select one. It just is going to depend. But you just select what you want, and then you queue, and then you go join. And then you join up and you queue up and that's really it and you can do anything you want for the most part uh, while you're in queue um, and what the queue is doing is just looking for other players who are looking for the same thing and once it finds um, everybody uh, then it'll put you all inside the instance and load you in um, this queue may take a while but it might pop while we're talking um, so you will be able to see that but if not um, we'll do another uh, video um, where you can see, you know, the entrance into, you know, in, uh, zoning into, a, loading into a dungeon. Um, uh, but um, generally, um, the queue is going to look for specific things. Uh, so each class, as we said, has a has a specific role um, in the game, and there are three general roles. Um, you have tanks and uh, healers and DPS or damage dealers. Damage DPS stands for damage per second. Um, and so what the queue is going to look for is going to look for however many take however many tanks uh, the dungeon is asked asked for however many dps the, dun the dungeon asks for and however many healers the dungeon asks for is, uh, asked for in final fantasy 14 typically it's one tank um, it'll look for one tank and then it'll uh, then two dps and then one healer um, and that's generally what it's going to look for um, how fast you get into the queue generally is going to be determined by what role you're playing and how many people are playing that role. Um, so, for example, um, if we were to queue as a tank, uh, if we were to join up and, and start a queue for a dungeon as a tank, we probably would get in a lot faster simply because there really aren't that many tanks in the game. Um, generally, people don't play tank uh, for whatever reason. Um, it can it is a, it can be a very stressful role for sure, um, but um, damage you know uh, playing a DPS class is a lot of fun, and so a lot of people play uh, damage classes. But that means since a lot of people play damage classes, that there are a lot of damage classes, uh, a lot of DPS classes in queue already. So that means that we're probably going to have to wait a little while until you know until those guys who queued up before us get in. Um, and we can find a tank and a healer. Um, healers generally are going to have a, a decent queue time, um, if not um, if not almost instant, um, simply because not that many play healers. Not many, that many people play healers either. Um, um, so that's just what's going to determine. Uh, that can determine your your queue time as what class you're playing. Um, really, other than that. Um, Um, knowing the dungeon and learning the dungeon is
is going to be the next thing um, for sure. Um, like I said, we've talked about roles a little bit, um, and we've uh, talked about a little bit about what they do. Um, so let's just let's go over that real quick a little bit. Um, tanks, if you're a tank, um, queuing up as a tank, your job is going to be uh, your job is to gather up all the enemies and keep uh, their focus on you, um, so that they don't attack um, your party, your other party members, your other friends. Um, generally, they have a lot of defense, so they can take a lot of damage. Whereas the other classes. Um, non-tank classes usually don't have nearly as much defense um, as tanks do so if they get hit a couple times it may be it may be over for them maybe lights out um, and uh, uh, casters and healers usually uh, especially as they wear uh, lighter armor or lighter equipment so they're gonna wear, be wearing cloth and things like that whereas uh, DPS may be able to take a couple more hits just because they wear leather or they may wear mail or something like that. Um, but uh, that's going to be your job as a tank is just to gather up all the enemies and, um, and make sure they don't go after anybody else. And you'll have moves um, and skills and abilities that are going to allow you to do that and help you do that. Um, we're definitely going to go over, uh, do an episode um, on how to tank, um, just basic in general. Um, and then maybe uh, a little specific for Final Fantasy XIV. Um, if you're a damage, if you're a DPS class or a damage dealing class, um, your job really is to deal damage. You just all you got, you're just gonna go in there and just do as much damage as you possibly can, as, as much damage as you can. Um, and doing that is gonna be uh, dependent on uh, knowing your class and knowing what your abilities do, and um, and really ironing out your rotations. Uh, figuring out your rotations and such, and uh, and really just having fun a lot. Um, healers are going to be uh, their, you know, um, their uh, responsibility or their role is is to heal, is just to keep everybody alive, keep everybody healed up and cured, um, and keep any uh, debilitating effects um, uh, from affecting uh, the other party members. So. Uh, things like poisons and slows and uh, things that slow the character down, things that uh, cause the character to take more damage or cause the character or cause, cause another party member to take, uh, to deal less damage. Those are generally things that um, healers are going to have the ability to remove. Um, and even though most of those things are going to have a timer, so they're going to, they will go away eventually on their own, getting them off as soon as possible is going to be something you're going to want to do. Um, and that's that's generally it um, as far as uh, responsibilities. Um, but uh, once you once you get that down and you get down what you're doing, um, learning the dungeon. Each dungeon is going to be different, and each dungeon is going to have different mechanics, uh, different things that you're going to have to overcome, and different things that you're going to have to learn. Um, and that's another part of the fun of the game for sure. Um, knowing uh, what the specific monsters in the dungeons do, um, knowing which routes to take and, uh, and how to make it through the dungeon, um, knowing what bosses uh, you're going to fight and which bosses you're going to want to watch out for and what they do, what their abilities do. Um, and even sometimes there are going to be things that aren't necessarily damage. Um, for instance, there's a boss in Final Fantasy XIV called the Demon Wall. And what the Demon Wall does is it has a, an ability called Repel. And what Repel does is it pushes the uh, it pushes its it pushes the characters or the party members back um, a considerable distance, um, which doesn't sound like very much. It doesn't do any damage. But the thing is, um, the sides of the arena um, are pitfalls. It's pretty much just each side is just a pitfall, and there's a like a little bridge on which you're fighting the demon wall in, and the bridge doesn't have any uh, any railings or anything like that. So um, you have to make sure to position yourself accordingly so that when Repel comes, um, you don't get pushed off the side, you don't get pushed into into the pitfall. Um, and it's just little things like that sometimes, just small things that don't even, that aren't really attacks or don't really do damage. It's just the mechanic of the, it's just the mechanic of the fight um, that you'll want to know. And, you know, dodging that stuff and, and figuring out how to deal with that stuff is a lot of the fun. Um, but knowing that stuff will help you get through the dungeon a lot faster and help you get um, help you get your party members through the dungeon because everyone's important. You know what I mean? Um, if the tank in the there's no damage dealer, sure, they can make it through, but it's going to take forever. You know what I mean? And, you know, if the tank goes down, then... Um, 
then you know there's a good chance that the enemies are going to overwhelm uh, the rest of the party. If the healers go down, there's a good chance that uh, the rest of the party isn't going to be able to make it because the tank's going to be taking too much damage. He's going to go down, and then again, there we go. You know, the rest of the party goes down afterwards. Um, so, so everybody has a role to play. Everybody is important. Don't let nobody else tell you otherwise. Um, a lot of people will talk about DPS classes is super easy you know to do and it is but they are important they are important when you when you need to take that monster out that enemy out pretty quickly you're gonna want somebody who's on there who's who's you know pummeling on that thing you know what I mean um, rather than you know trying to chip away at it you know after over a long period of time um, but that's you know that's making it through a dungeon is um, is definitely the uh, learning the dungeon, learning learning the route, and um, sometimes there are going to be things uh, that you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to interact with or read in order to know what to do when you get to a specific point. Such as the first uh, part of Sastasha, once you clear the first two packs of enemies, there's a note um, off in a room to the side that will tell you um, a specific color, um, and you want you're going to want to remember that color because once you beat the first boss in the um, or mini boss in the um, in the dungeon, or before beating the mini boss, you're going to be faced with a choice of three corals, um, and they're each a different color. There's red, blue, and green. And if you didn't read the note, uh, if you just push a random one, uh, you're going to spawn a monster, or you may get a poison effect on you, or something like that. Um, but if you read the note, you know what I mean. You'll know that okay, this time, you know, we want to push the blue button. We want to push the blue coral, and so there's a button on the blue coral that you push, and it will. Um, it will reveal a, a button next to a secret door and then you push the button and the boss fight starts and then when the boss fight's over you know the door opens you know but it's just other things like that you know what i mean knowing the dungeons and knowing how they work um and what goes into them um and then of course there are going to be things that you're going to want to watch out for things you're going to you're going to have you know you're going to want to watch out for because uh, you are going to be playing with people um, and especially if you're first starting off you may not know exactly what you need to do um, you may not you may not know exactly what's going on you know what i mean you're trying you know what i mean but it takes a little while sometimes to get into the saddle of an mmorpg and knowing what all the abilities are doing and knowing when to use them and knowing what's right and what's wrong you know what i mean and some most people in general are going to be really really cool they're going to be really really accepting but there are going to be some people that aren't and just don't let those people get to you you know what i mean um, some people are gonna some people can be real jerks it's just like anywhere else um so you just don't want to let them get, don't let them get to you you know what i mean um and a lot of the time they're going through something themselves you know what i mean either in the game or out of the game and that's not necessarily an excuse but you know hey at least you can let it roll off your shoulders you know what i mean um so yeah those that's definitely something you want to watch out for is just is what we would call in uh what we may call in D D would be a problem player you know what i mean somebody who's sitting there telling everybody what to do or telling people they're doing stuff wrong or blah 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 picking on people and stuff like that you know what i mean or not doing what they're supposed to be doing um it happens it happens it doesn't happen a lot but it happens it happens enough to where it's it's worth mentioning that's really the only thing you have to watch out for there's really nothing else in in uh in the dungeon experience that you're going to have to look out for at all um it just boils down to um knowing your role and, and playing your uh, playing your role well and knowing the dungeon and learning the dungeon and that's really it and your first time in you know Gen, you know in general nobody's going to expect you to know what to do and a lot of the times people are going to you know there will be a notification <clears throat> of some sort that says hey you know there's a player here who's here for the first time and people will be like okay cool well yeah so let's take it slow you know what i mean and when we get to a boss fight if there's anything that needs to be said they'll be like hey watch out for this and when this happens do that you know do x or whatever there you know most people are going to be really really helpful um so that's i mean that's really it like i said um and dungeons are, you know, just their integral part. They're great for leveling. They're great for loot, um, and uh, and it just boils down to knowing your knowing your role and knowing your class and and uh, knowing the dungeon. And that's really it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, looks like we're not gonna get in this queue before the video's over. And I don't want to sit here for. Let's see how long we have here. It says 13 minutes. And we have. How many seconds left? Ten seconds now. So we'll see that this doesn't happen. Generally, as DPS class, you're gonna wait a long time. 
um, for your cues um, into the dungeon. Um, yeah. So uh, what we'll do is we'll end the video here, and I'll wait for the cue. And what we'll do is we'll just we'll um, tag this onto the end of the video when we load in. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, um, advice or anything like that, anything you guys want to see or hear about, just oh hey we got in. What do we know? We're not gonna end this. Yet. We're gonna end this just yet. All right. So you can see we got a cue pop. Oh somebody withdrew. No. Oh well. So um. Hopefully that means that there's, you know, that we should be able to get in pretty quick. Um, but we'll, we'll just go, yeah, we'll go ahead and stop it here. If you guys, like say, if you guys have any comments, concerns, any questions, um, any advice on, um, on the videos or anything like that, or on the stream, um, or anything that you guys want to see, just send us a, drop us a comment or send us an email at ffxivnthingsmailbox at gmail.com. Um, and uh, that's really it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you later. Uh, say goodbye, Sig. Bye, Sig. We'll see you guys later.